What's up everybody, I am Ghost Boy Colby, and we're back here in Skyrim. We are in the uh, Bleak Falls Sanctum, I think it's called. Uh, we got the Golden Claw, uh, I believe we're on our way back to return it to the dude, but um, it looks like this right here is what we're going to be opening or unlocking with the Golden Claw, because uh, if I go to my items, Right here, um, maybe it's under miscellaneous? Mm, yeah, yeah it is, right there. Um, yeah, that definitely looks like it. And so, if I zoom in on it... Aha! Okay, so this is how we find combination to unlock this door. And you might think that I <laughs> figured that out a little too easily. It's kind of because I did. Um, so I recorded a little bit of me trying to just figure out what the hell the combination is. And I, I don't think I'm going to upload or, or put that footage into this video. I think it's just unnecessary basically I was just going around looking all over the walls all throughout just everywhere within the bleak falls sanctum trying to find a hint as to what the combination is and then for a little bit I just started brute forcing the damn thing but because I seriously did not know what it was and there's our answer right there um, you just have to match those three animals on the the palm of the claw, I guess, to the three animals that are in the, uh, or on the wheels. So, um, I, I got tired of trying to just, like, look all over the place if I wasn't finding any sort of hint, or just, br I didn't want to just brute force it, even though I started to. Um, so I looked up how to find the combination and I didn't know it would be that specific combination I didn't read that far but I did read to the part where it said examine the golden claw and I didn't think to do that at first I just it was not my first instinct to think that the answer would be on the thing I was using to unlock I just have never really seen that in a game before so it was not my first instinct, uh, but I believe I'll have to look at it again because I think I just forgot it, but I think it was bear, whatever this insect thing is here, and owl. If that's wrong, I'm going to have to look and double check. I might have the spots of these two switched, but let's give it a shot. Yeah, so I'm sorry I cut out the footage of me trying to figure it out. It's just, it was too long and I really had no idea what I was doing. I don't normally like to cut that kind of stuff out, but I'll make an exception if it just makes the video needlessly long, because what I'm concerned with here is progress and time. If I'm taking too much time to make a small amount of progress, then it's just not worth it. Um, I have no idea where we are. This actually looks pretty badass. I love this level design. Uh, but yeah, if anyone has a problem with that, I can put together like some sort of deleted scenes thing later on, like a montage. That would take a very long time, and I'm not sure I have the uh, editing ability for that just yet. So, we'll see, but... Am I about to have a boss fight? This feels like a boss fight sort of thing. What is that? Weak friends of poison? Sure. This really seems like the area before a boss fight. 
But yeah, I've said pretty much all I have to say about the fact that I cut out the footage of me trying in vain to figure out the answer to the lock. I'm confused. Are we supposed to... Oh. Activate. See? Like that. Like, I guess the hitboxes are small or something? Well, not hitboxes, but like... That's the only thing I can think to describe it. It's like you have to look exactly at it, otherwise it won't tell you that you're supposed to interact with it. So that's actually why I missed that one chain handle that we had to pull to open that one gate. Um, I don't remember exactly where it was. I think it was earlier in the, in the Bleak Falls thing. I think that might have been the section where we were just getting absolutely assaulted by dra draugers. I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm just gonna give my best shot and I'm gonna stop saying I don't know this or that because I'm, I'm just gonna say how I think it's said and not worry about it until somebody try you know until somebody uh, politely corrects me and says you know here's an example of how it's actually pronounced I don't need some dickhead being like lol it's obviously this newsflash fucker if I didn't pronounce it that way, that's probably because it wasn't obvious, but... Um... <clears throat> excuse the language. So yeah, now, now that we got the Golden Claw, I guess we just go. I don't know what else we would do. I'm not sure how to, how to get down, though. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even sure if we do get down. Oh, hell. <laughs> it's about to look like I don't have a choice. I don't think I can get back up. Well. I hope I wasn't supposed to stay up there, because I sure as hell did not. Alright, that's a cave? See, I don't, I don't know what the various markers on my thing correlate to. On my, uh little compass, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to come down this way, but it looks pretty. So I guess we'll just enjoy the scenery for a little bit. I don't know if there's a way to open up like a full map. Oh wait, there is. I'm stupid, okay. On the world map, locations that you have discovered have light icons, while locations that have, you have only heard about have dark icons. Okay, so that's the difference. If something is more solid looking on our compass, then that means it's somewhere we've already been. If it has a, like, a faded, not as solid looking icon, then that means you know, we just know that's the general direction it's in, and we haven't been there yet. You can only s or you can select any location you have discovered to fast travel to it. Oh, thank God! I didn't know that. Okay, so that's the Bleak Falls Barrow. That's where I am. Oh yeah, we were way off. We were way off from Riverwood. I'm gr I'm glad I didn't take all that time to just take the long way there. I would have had no idea what to talk about. I'm just glad we got this damn quest over with, because, wow. I guess, in general, I'm just thankful I'm even able to record this episode. I'm just glad I got myself that, uh... Fandolf thinks that Etherwood, no, er, Etherwood, Ethernet cable. I think I said Etherwood because I was combining Riverwood Nothing and Ethernet in my head. Here's the Riverwood Trader. Here we go. Let's give him back the Golden Claw. Hopefully the volume isn't a, an issue with this one. The sooner one. you find the Claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Well, good news for you, Lucan. I don't know if that's how you say it. Show those thieves not to steal from Lucan Valerius. Lucan. Okay, that answered my question. Here is... Oh. How do I give it to him? 
but it, it... Don't let my sister do anything foolish. Oh, that's his You're sister. You're strapping, young man. I Don't have no be a idea. stranger. You're not from around here. Hold on. You, guys, I have your claw. Take it. Makes two of us. What? The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. My sister... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them uh, treasures. Uh, here. Hold on. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. What the hell? How do I give it to him? All right oh then. Oh my. Um, something ain't right here. I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother Lucan. How do I? I'm not trying. I, I'm not going to steal from them because I don't want to. I'm just trying to. Maybe you're looking for something particular. I'm not looking for anything. I'm trying to figure out right, how, to, how to give you back your thing. I gotta be missing something, right? May I? I don't know how to. We carry just about anything. I. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay. Is it for some reason under his thing? No. The golden claw. It's not showing up. What do I, I... Is this? Till next time. I guess there's something I'm not understanding here. Um, I wasn't even looking at you. Okay, let's check the map. I'm confused. My oh okay that so that's Yarl of White Run that's what it, uh I gotcha but I'm not concerned with White Run I'm trying to figure out how to do this thing that I've already done or like complete this quest that I I have done everything that I need to do to complete find the secret of Bleak Falls Borrow did I not do that. Well, I got the Golden Claw. I shouldn't need to discover some sort of secret. I'm confused. Is it because I didn't have it designated as, like, my main quest? Is that a thing? Do I have to mark it down that it's the quest I'm focusing on? I wonder if that's a thing. As if so, that's my bad, it's just I didn't know. Maybe that's not a thing. I... <sighs> Find the secret. Oh, I have to go all the way back. Well, I guess let's fast travel to Bleak Falls. If that's where we gotta go. I, ju I don't understand why I can't just give him the... Claw. This game confuses the hell out of me so far. But it's not gonna make me rage quit. Yet. <laughs> I'll be honest, there are probably gonna be a lot of times where I would rage quit over the course of this series. But one thing that might do it is if the damn enemies have respawned. Oh my god, imagine if they've all respawned, even the goddamn giant spider. I'd probably have a fit. So, and any clue as to where this secret of Bleak Falls might be located? Let's just make a 
make our way back through, I guess. We know this place. We've become quite acquainted with it. Quite familiar. Gotta assume we're getting closer because this is the only way to go. So if the only way to go is not the right way to go, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Okay. Still pretty linear path for us. I'm assuming it's not that. Honestly, don't really have any idea how close we are. But I'd like to think we're almost there. getting farther away from it now. Whatever and wherever it is. That shimmering sound from the uh, restoration spell does get a little annoying because it makes it sound like there's some sort of key item nearby that we're missing. Even though there's not. It's just the spell. Show must go on. Okay, uh, do I have any restoration potions? I think that's what they're called. Or potion of healing, whatever. Well, I guess there's no need if I have magic. Oh god damn, no! Ooh, that's a lot stronger. Huh. I guess it wasn't a... Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. I guess it wasn't an exaggeration when it said that it made these kinds of spells stronger. And that's good. It's a good thing I got that when I leveled up. So the reason I got kind of triggered for a second is because I thought it meant that all of the goddamn Draugrs had respawned. I was about to be very unhappy. Oh yeah, uh, this is the part. The chain. You go through here. Um, is that a thing? Or is this just a static environmental object? I guess so. Okay. Seems like we passed whatever it was we were supposed to interact with or go to. Oh my. This looks dangerous. Did I already come down here? Or... I would assume I've already been here. Wait. Okay. I can do this. Nice. false sanctum. I'm so confused. There had to have been something I missed. That's fine, I guess. See, I'm still trying to get used to the way that Skyrim works because it's so... Half the time I have no clue what to do. Ah! Waste 
wasting magicka doing that. I'm assuming it'll have a marker at whatever the end goal is. Is it gonna be what I think it is? in here okay so from now on whatever quest I'm doing I'm just gonna have to remember to set that as the main quest from the map that was obviously where I went wrong before so I will remember not to do that from now on go after a quest that I didn't even set as my primary one well, I'm assuming you can have like two or more. Oh my. So this was gonna be a boss battle, wasn't it? Word of power. Draugr Overlord. Oh, I should probably have a weapon out. But you guys know by now how stubborn I am with this. Ha! Ha! He's stuck! shot. It's either gonna work or I'm gonna look stupid. Might as well stick with it either way. Alright. So now, now we've done everything. And we can go back to uh, Riverwood. And give this motherfucker the dragon claw. I honestly kind of wish I, ne I had never even taken on this damn quest. I didn't realize it was going to be so much headache. Basically, all we've done ever since the second episode was this goddamn quest. And we're four episodes in now. Whew. So now I can fast travel back to Riverwood. Map. Current location. Uh, yes. Alrighty. Good, good, good. I'm surprised I'm not out of time yet. I think we're getting there. A few more minutes, and I will be out of time. All right, now I gotta find their house. Don't set anything on fire, all right? I'm glad to help anyway. Funny you should I say can. that. I mean, as long as you're not like a draugr. Or a giant spider, chances are I probably won't set you on fire. As long as you're not trying to kill me, I won't. The sooner burn you, you find the claw, the sooner <laughs> you I found it. it. I have it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put yeah. this back where it belongs. I'll I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. You're welcome. Welcome. Oh, thank you for all the damn. It gold. means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. No problem. Well, okay. It was a little bit of a problem. I'm not gonna act like it wasn't of any inconvenience, because it kind of was, and I don't want to lie to you. 
But I don't want you to feel bad for it, because it was I, me. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Some may call He's this there, junk. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to tell me that every time. All right, um... So... I can probably look through my shit and see if there's anything I want to sell. Fur armor? Sure. Um... I achieved. See, so yeah, I'm starting to wonder, increases your Magicka points, Magicka regenerates. I think I need, if I put this on, my next level up needs to be going towards my, my HP. So that I can make up for the lack of armor by increasing my health, giving more of a pool to take damage from. But I don't know if I'm confident enough in my magic abilities to be able to stay away, to reliably stay away from my enemies, and avoid damage to the point where I think I should put these on. But I think I might. So, I can at least get rid of the helmet and the armor. And then keep those, I think. So I don't, I don't know what this ring is good for. I'm gonna s trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I'm gonna sell it, and I'm still trying to get used to these damn menus. Damn it! Trinkets, odds and ends. The B button sort of needs thing. to just take you back to the sec, to the whatever menu you were looking at, not just take you out of the whole damn uh, selling, fucking trading thing. Torturer's Hood, I have no idea what that does. Um, Alright, I don't think there's too much else I want to sell because this guy only has so much gold. So let's, let's get some potions. Uh, minor healing. Let's take five. You can have one. Uh, minor Magicka. Yeah, I think I'll take... All but one of those. And then you can have the rest. Blue mage robes. Interesting. So what... What do I have? Do I have the blue mage robes? Or do I just have... Oh, I have the novice robes. See, but it seems like... Magicka regenerates 50% faster. Magicka regenerates 50% faster. They're, they have the same effect, but for some reason, one seems to be a lot more valuable than the other. If they do the same thing, I'm just going to keep the novice robes. I don't know. A uh, circlet of minor alchemy. Created potions are 12% more powerful. See, I've never, I haven't made any potions, so. And then there's a lot of the stuff that I sold him. Alteration spells. Ooh, robes of destruction. See, I don't have enough of that. Those would be really good for me because I use destruction spells, specifically the fire spell. So, but I think even if I wanted to, I couldn't get up to a, that much gold and then buy it without going broke because then he'd come out with the complete game we each only have so much gold we can't just create our gold from thin air so you see my gold number is i have 615 gold he has 1093 that means that at the end of it neither of us can have more than the total so like, uh, the, to the total of our two golds combined can never be more than that total. Gold can't just come out of thin air whenever we're doing this. We can only exchange everything in terms of values. 
It's, think of it like, um, uh, I don't know, this might be a bit of a fucking nerdy example, but think of, like, uh, atoms. Whenever, like, compounds or whatever are being made, they can only, like, exchange their mass, and, like, they don't just pull atoms and sh or whatever, they don't pull mass from thin air. I, I'm probably explaining this terribly, but think of it, if you know what I'm talking about, think of, think of it like that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then just forget I said shit. Honestly, I'm doing a bad job of explaining it anyways. It just seemed kind of similar, so I thought I might bring it up for comparison purposes. Is the garnet worth... I mean, like, I realize it's worth something, but does it have any use? Lesser soul gem? I don't know what that does. It doesn't say that it does anything. Or a calcamine I don't, I don't know what to... Miscellaneous. Is there some sort of crafting mechanic that I don't know about? Ingredients, it goes without saying that those are used to make either poisons or potions, but... I don't know, man. I, th I think I'm done trading with this dude. Uh, yeah, I'm, mm. I'm good. The Riverwood Trader is every. So items, apparel. Let's equip the novice hood and the novice robes. You need it since we're gonna store. be focusing more on our magic. And I don't think I have another level up yet. But now, since we've done that, let's look and see if there's another, like, side quest to do here. Well, I guess we wouldn't know that unless we talked to absolutely everybody in the town. I think... I don't... I don't know if I'm committed to the idea of doing another side quest. Because we know that the main quest is over in White Run. I'm assuming that's not the house that I was offered a stay in. And I think this is. Yeah. You lost. What? Didn't y'all say no? Are y'all not the people? I'm not gonna steal from you. I'm just. Well, I guess you're not. Your house was unlocked, so I di I didn't know. Look, I can't, I don't know my way around here. So yes, you're right, I am lost. I'm not gonna deny that, but I could have sworn somebody offered me a stay in their house. Did they not? Can I look at my items and see? Is there like a keys? Girder's house, okay. Where is that? Is that the one that it told me to unlock? Because I assumed... Well, I, d I don't remember what names it said, because I'm not familiar with these names yet. But I assumed since it meant unlock, it was talking about, like, lock picking, And it said novice, so yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Seven. So yeah, okay, so obviously that wasn't the house. Where is Gerda's house? So I want to see what's going on there. Don't set anything on fire, all right? I think I actually. Well, I think I'm actually gonna stop here. Let me let me check my alarm just to make sure. I think I accidentally set it for tomorrow. Oh no, we still have like three more minutes. It feels like it's been a lot longer than that. I will have to stop in a little bit, but first I am going to find that house, Gerda's house. Because I, I really don't know which one it is. That's the inn. I just checked that one. Um, is there like a dynamic day-night system in this? This is the, you know, 
Ever since the first episode, it's the first time I've seriously put effort towards playing Skyrim, so... If I ever ask a question, it's not necessarily a rhetorical question. There's Finbell's house. I don't know how you say these names, so if you want to correct me on anything regarding the names, as far as like pronunciation goes, or anything, Did you really see a dragon? just be polite about it. Don't be a dickhead. Because, like, I'm not familiar with how uh, Nordic pronunciations work. I'm more familiar with, for example, uh, the Japanese language. I mean, I don't speak Japanese, but I understand how the pronunciations work more than I do with, for example, I don't know, Swedish or something. So saw a dragon, I'm not saying that this, that these are supposed to be Swedish-esque names, but it's just an example. I don't, I don't know a lot about Nordic culture, their pronunciations, their folklore, really any of that. So if I make a mistake, just correct me and don't be a dickhead about it. But yeah, no, I seriously have no idea where the house that I'm looking for is. I'm pretty sure I've already gone in a circle. I mean, I know I've been here before. I just... I don't see what I'm missing. Check that, that's the end. I know for sure that is the end. Maybe up here. Riverwood Trader. Okay, now I'm out of time. But like I said, I am gonna find that damn house. Because they offered me a stay in it and I have the key. That's not... And don't, that's not, that's not the house, is it? Snooze. Nobody's in here. I'm not gonna steal. I'm not stealing from any of the residents, unless there's like some obvious benefit to it that won't get me on bad terms with the townsfolk. Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Can I actually do that? Like, burn a whole house down? Oh, boy. I'm confused. So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me. What was it like? As big as a house? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say it was bigger than that. Well, I'll be. That'd be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand? Whenever I... Yeah, I hope that dragon stays far away from here. Whenever I pick these dialogue here. options, I'm gonna want them to reflect how I, personally, me, myself, would respond. I'm not gonna try and go for what I think you guys wanna hear, cause I don't know what you guys wanna hear. I don't like to assume stuff about what the audience like. I don't wanna make any assumptions about what y'all wanna see until you tell me. Is I would like to avoid making an ass of myself, but I just I somebody can help me <laughs> and like tell me where the damn house is. That'd be great. Cause I went in there and she said you lost. Like I wasn't supposed to be there. And I think the only reason. She didn't, like, try to kill me. It's because I didn't, like, steal or hit, hit her. 
Ugh. But whatever. Uh, I guess either in the next episode we're gonna find that damn house, or we're gonna go to Whiterun and try to find Jarl. If that's how you say it. Um, like I said, just give me, give me polite tips as far as the pronunciation goes. Don't just like say, what, are you an idiot? Have you, you know, obviously I've never heard these names if I don't know how to pronounce them. So, um, I'm just going off of my best guess, context clues and shit. But yeah, I'm, I'm done with this episode. Uh, for some reason it felt a lot longer than I think it really was. I don't know why, maybe I'm just crazy, but yeah. Until the next video, Oh, and uh, I will be making a Rainbow Six Siege episode tonight. I don't know if it'll get uploaded when I want it to, but I will be making it. So, yeah. Um, until the next video. Peace.